Right. So in this problem, we're given uh, that a particle is traveling along the x-axis with a certain velocity. We're given the velocity function. And we're asked to calculate the total distance that the particle travels between time equals minus 4 and positive 4, where we're thinking of negative time as perhaps time before a certain event, which we said is time equals 0. So to find the total distance traveled, uh, we need to compute the integral from minus 4 to 4 of the absolute value of the velocity function, so absolute value of 2t squared plus 12t plus 1 uh, with respect to t. Now, the easiest way to do this is just to break up the velocity function um, into the parts where it's positive and negative. So to do that, we would um, need to find the piecewise definition for um, v of t, and, uh, or for, excuse me, for absolute value of v of t. Uh, of course, just on the interval negative 4 to positive 4. Uh, well, let's set v of t equal to 0. So if we set v of t, which is equal to 2t squared plus 12t plus 1 um, equal to 0, uh, now we just need to solve for t using the quadratic equation. So uh, we get negative b, which is negative 12, plus or minus square root of um, b squared, so 144, minus 4 times ac. So minus 8, all over 2a, so divided by 4. And this simplifies to minus 3 plus or minus 2.915. So the two zeros of this function, uh, we graph them, are, well, negative 3 minus 2.915, so negative 5.915. And over here we'll have uh, negative 3 plus 2.915, uh, so uh, negative 0 0.085. Now what we need to do is pick a sample point in um, each of these intervals and determine whether the function is positive, whether v of t is positive or negative. And since these are the only points where v of t can cross the x-axis and v of t is continuous, we know that um, it will be positive, either positive or negative on each of these intervals, but not both. So let's pick a sample point that's less than um, negative 5.915. How about, uh, let's say t equals negative 6. So v of negative 6 is going to be equal to uh, 2 times... Uh, 36, so 72, plus uh, 12 times negative 6, so minus 72, plus 1, uh, that's just equal to 1, which is greater than 0. So it's positive on the interval uh, negative infinity to negative 5.915. Uh, let's pick, say, how about negative, point, or negative 1? Um, is a sample point for the interval uh, between the two zeros of the function. So v of negative 1 is uh, 2 plus uh, 12 times minus 1, so 2 minus 12 plus 1. Uh, that ends up being minus 9, which is less than 0. And finally, we need to pick a um, point, um, our sample point in the interval negative 0 0.085 to infinity. Uh, the easiest point is 0, so let's just uh, compute v of 0. Uh, v of 0, um, uh, the two, first two terms go to 0, so we're just left with 1, which is greater than 0. So we can use this, um, this uh, graph to draw, or to figure out what the piecewise uh, definition of absolute value of v of t is. So if v is less than negative 5.915, then uh, the function is positive. So we can just drop the absolute value signs. 
Uh, let me write this, or draw this picture over here so I have more room to write the function. So if, um, so v of t, absolute value of v of t is just 2t squared plus 12t plus 1. If uh, t is in the interval, uh, well, v of t is only, def we're only interested in uh, the interval negative 4 to 4 to begin with. So we really just want to look at t equals negative 4. Um, to negative 5.915. And if t is in the interval um, negative 5.915 to negative 0 0.085, then, then it's going to be negative, so the absolute value is just negative vt. So, um, so negative 2t squared, negative 12t negative 1 if t is in the interval negative, um, I had to realize I just wrote this interval backwards, this should be um, let's see, oh here, um, this makes our work a lot easier. We're only interested in values from negative 4 to positive 4, so negative 4 is over here. So we really don't need to worry about this. So I'll just leave that blank for now. We can use it in the next part of the, um, or calculating the absolute value of v of t when v is greater, or when t is greater than 0 0.085. But here when we're in this interval, t is um, definitely negative. So if t is between negative 4 and negative point, or uh, negative 0 0.085, And of course, if t is greater than negative 0 0.085, so if it's in the interval um, negative 0 0.085 to positive 4, then it's just equal to v of t. So we really only have that one zero to worry about. Now, after all that work trying to, uh, or figuring out a piecewise definition for the absolute value of v of t, we can just break up the interval uh, integral um, and just evaluate it, uh, evaluate the piecewise definition instead of um, the absolute value of v of t as, as uh, I wrote up above. So now that we've found an expression for the absolute value of v of t, we can just split this um, integral up into two different parts, one where the absolute value, or one where the um, inside of the absolute value is positive and one where it's negative. So we know it's negative between negative 4 and negative 0 0.085. And uh, so then we want to integrate negative 2t squared minus 12t minus 1 dt. And then we want to add uh, the integral from negative 0 0.085 to um, positive 4 of, uh, well, if it's in, t is in this interval, then uh, this function is positive. So we get 12t squared plus 12t plus 1 dt. So now this is equal to, uh, well, the antiderivative of this polynomial is just 2t, or negative uh, 2 thirds t cubed minus 6t squared, minus t, it's evaluated from negative 4 to negative 0 0.085, and we add, um, this should be just 2t squared. So we add, um, same thing, but positive, so 2t, two, 2 thirds t squared, minus or excuse me, plus 6t squared, plus t, and evaluate that from negative 0 
to positive 4. And that's not too, uh, too easy to do by hand. It's a little messy. If you plug it into a calculator, it's, uh, you'll find that this is about equal to 192.084. So in terms of the original statement of the problem, this means that the particle has traveled a total distance, not a displacement, but distance, so counting distance traveled in the positive and negative direction of 192.084 units. Whether your units be meters or feet, whatever, we know that it's traveled 